I want to share with you a story that happened to me today. I was starting today a new project, super interesting project with a really interesting company and today was the strategy meeting, the first meeting to, it's a brand identity project and also some other elements, but today was the first strategy with the whole management team of the company which I never met before because um, I signed the deal with the kind of VP strategy of the company. Today I was supposed to meet the whole management team and run a full brand strategy meeting. I've prepared a super nice uh, presentation with a nice agenda for the whole three hours which by the way I was planning to share with you um, because I thought it was a great presentation I worked last night to prepare a really nice agenda um, about how to run the whole strategy meeting and this company actually sits in Haifa which is kind of in the northern part of Israel so I woke, had to wake up really early take the train to the north of Israel um, f to their office I've headed there <laughs> It was when I got there it was pouring rain and I didn't even have umbrella so got to their office kind of like a little bit wet and when I got there met the VP strategy uh, the guy that I was signing the deal with and he told me don't ask the management team is not going to be here today because we kind of have a little crisis in the company with you know a client that they had to fix a little bit of crisis uh, which is I mean a good crisis because the company is doing good but they can't be here today and then we were like sitting like this in the room and uh, like what are we gonna do right now I mean there's like he was like okay so let's do the meeting without them and I told him look we can't do the meeting without them I mean there's no point in us discussing if we don't have the whole management team engaged in this super important kickoff strategy session. The whole project is going to be super affected by the decision and the discussion that we have here today. We can't really do this without them. And he was like, I'm so sorry that I didn't have you know, enough time to let you know in advance. I thought we we're gonna be able to make it all through the night and they'll be here. Eventually that didn't happen. Um, and I don't wanna kind of waste your time because you're already here, you've traveled all the way here. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm really sorry. Um, and I was really bummed, obviously. <laughs> um, I was really excited for this workshop. Again, I came fully prepared, fully motivated to do this. And also understanding that I mean, all, what were my solutions? Either cancel that, which means I have a day wasted of me traveling and the whole project is going to be delayed, which might affect my whole timeline of other projects. Or I try to run the strategy meeting without them and then try to phone interview the founders of the company. And I, But that's probably not a good idea. And so eventually I told them, like, I, I didn't want to show them, like, how bummed I am. So I was like still super happy and friendly and was like all right listen it is what it is you know i'm not i'm not judging you or blaming you or mad at you this is how you know startup companies are, are run you know shit happens stuff happens let's try to make the best of what we can do today you help me understand the the company and the product as as much as i can in the business model because this is a super super complicated product industry and so teach me everything that you can teach me by your own and we're gonna I mean create a new meeting because I feel like we have to have the founders of the company with us so we're gonna delay this um, and actually came to the conclusion that we will best to not do it in their office but to do it as an offsite um, so they will be really really focused and not kind of um, very tempted to step outside of the meeting room and go fix other problems in the office so eventually this day ended up being very very productive because i learned so much about the company also kind of like on the way met the founders and just like hey i'm here i know you have crisis don't worry about it i'll catch you next time um but through the whole thing i try to be as as you know positive as i can and as professional as i can i did show the you know the the people that i met with the agenda that i had in mind so they were very impressed with that and I think that it built, it built my credibility with them and then hopefully on the next meeting they'll, you know, they'll be my champions and, and root for me um, and help me do this properly. I guess my takeaway from this story is sometimes you, I mean, you're so focused on doing good work and then things don't end up 
the way that you've planned them to be and things get delayed and things you know that's exactly why you plan buffer time into your projects because this stuff will happen your projects will be delayed unexpected things will happen but instead of this making it a bad start of the project and create tension between us or me trying to save up my time and, and you know rush the, the project in so I can get it over as fast as possible to make it as, as profitable as I can for myself. I just show them that I really care about the project and my intentions are to get the best results. So even if it will take a little bit more time and we have to delay and meet again like next week or in two weeks from now, I'm going to do this because I have their best interest in mind and I think that did create credible credibility for me uh, with them and so I think eventually it will be for for our best uh, again this is a super interest interesting and complicated business and so just spending three hours a day learning about it I you know I did gain a lot a lot of value and learned that three hours is not not a lot of time for for a strategy or learning about a company uh, yeah so that's it this day wasn't a waste at the end of it I hope your day was successful as well I'll catch you guys <laughs>